looking for something to do in St. Charles? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you events that are coming up. I'm sure there's something that you'll enjoy. I'm going to be talking about the wineries that are opening up and even a hike along the river. Hi, my name is Cindy Clarice, and I'm a full-time Remax Realtor. I'm from this area. I help buyers and sellers move into the cities of St. Charles, St. Louis, Lincoln County. So if you ever need any help with your real estate needs, please feel free to reach out. You can call, text, email. I'll even put a link below to my calendar. Well, if you want to get in on one last St. Patrick's party, they're having their fifth annual Lucky St. Patrick's Day Crawl in St. Louis on Saturday, March 19th at the Great Grizzly Bear. They're going to be having a $1,000 grand prize costume contest. Tickets are 15. You can see on the map where they're located. And at the Family Arena in St. Charles, they will be having their St. Louis Ambush versus Kansas City Comets in St. Charles on Saturday, April 2nd, starts at 7, and tickets range from $20 to $40. There's lots of fun at the Cottabell Wine Cellar. They were open on St. Patrick's Day, but their official reopen day is April 1st. They're located in the Cottleville Historic Area. Oh, they have a beautiful setting. They have over 200 labels of wines from around the world and a unique beer selection as well. You can see on the map where they're located. Hey, if you like what you're hearing, I appreciate if you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. That way you're notified next week when I do another video about the area. Okay, my favorite's being outside. That's why I'm telling you about a nature hike. It's at Banger Island. It's on the Missouri River, just south of the Blanchette Bridge. The park has got four miles of natural surface trails for hiking or mountain biking. There's lots of wildlife to see and it's good for bird watching. You can even fish along the Missouri River. I've attached links to other videos that I've done highlighting areas in St. Charles. So please feel free to reach out and stay safe.